Folks, if you hire a tree service, make sure that they've got insurance. Uh, here's a job in a big, big tree, four and a half feet across. Uh, tree dropped right on the house, uh, right on this side. It's split several rafters that are, that are going up on this house. Uh, it pushed this whole section down uh, and then it basically compressed these areas. After the roof is uh, and structural members up there are taken care of, I'm probably gonna have to rip off this siding to find out if we've got cracked rafters that are supporting the walls. Uh, the company that did this doesn't want to provide their insurance information, uh, <laughs> leading me to believe they might not have it. Uh, one thing that, to understand how this structural stuff happens. When you've got a big tree like this that drops on the house, it pushes it down here, and then uh, and then there's a rafter here that goes all the way from this area where it's supported in the wall all the way up here. Now, when it gets pushed down here, it's like a teeter-totter. Push down here, and then it comes up here. If you look real close, you this edge right here is actually cocked up a little bit like that. So uh, once this structural member from here all the way down to here is replaced, uh, this may end up being jacked up. Now you've got siding messed up here, possible cracked studs inside of the wall. You got the same thing going on here. Now look at this and you can see the gapping over here where that board has, uh, has popped out. Um, you had a secondary impact in this site right here uh, where a tree fell on fell the the same tree fell right here pushed this wall or squeezed this wall together i think when i tear off the sheathing i'm going to end up finding uh, or tear off the siding I'm, what i'm going to end up finding is a few cracked studs so the cedar that you see right here is going to end up having to be removed and then the sheathing underneath there is going to have to be removed and then the the insulation is probably going to fall out on the ground or we'll we'll end up putting some tarps out there to clean it up and we're going to have to investigate what's going on with these studs okay if these studs are cracked we're going to have to either replace them or sister new studs on uh, and the same thing is going to have to happen on the side now when I got this call originally, the tree service said it was two little holes uh, right in between the studs. Eh, no big deal, right? Well, uh, it was a big deal because it wasn't two little areas, you know, the size of a uh, the size of an arm that were uh, that were were impacted, where where there was little holes in the decking. No, this whole section up here, you had one structural member right here that was destroyed, and that's what we see over on the other side. Then the second structural member, destroyed. And that's why this soffit is cocked up. And the third, there's a third structural rafter right here, and the bottom is knocked right off of that. So it's actually still got about three quarters of that piece. So what we can do in that section is we can actually sister on or really attach a secondary piece onto the original piece uh, with, with nails in a, kind of a zigzag fashion uh, about every 10 to 12 inches and about uh, at least an inch and a half off from the edge and that will res that will restore the structural integrity of that of that piece right here uh, but a lot of times people don't understand that when just because you know if you've got a little area there you, you uh, people think oh just replace the board it's not just replacing a board what are the other elements that are impacted you know, you start to look for little hints, you know, little hints like right here. That is not normal. That gapping, not normal. Tells us that there's a problem right there. We go around here and you look at the siding. What happened there? Look at that. You got an inch, uh, inch and a quarter gap uh, between some of those pieces of of siding. What does that tell us? It tells us that this whole wall compressed. Now, if every single stud in this wall, in that middle section here, and it could be from here to here, if every single one of those studs is cracked, those have to be replaced. 
the structural integrity has to be reestablished. And if you don't reestablish it, you're gonna end up having problems later on. So folks, if somebody tells you that a problem, that, that, oh, it's just a small little problem, start to look around for other elements here. Look for those little hints, like those the gapping in the boards, like the siding that might be uh, a little sinuous, because those are what's going to really tell you the story. I hope that this has helped. Have a great day.